So on my YouTube channel today, a couple people were talking about how they thought I was insane, a liar, a charlatan who just wants money, and all that good stuff. So I tuned into the other side and I said, how do you guys feel about that? And they said, Christine, we want you to make a video letting these people know what they're doing to themselves. Number one, me and the other side just happen to be besties. We kick it together on the weekends and everything. Our relationship is very informal, very familiar with each other. So I'm just gonna throw this out there. I might not be the best target for people to verbally attack. I'm just saying, um, you might be wearing your bad idea jeans that day. Since I do happen to be friends with the most powerful force in the universe, it just might not be the best idea. That's all I'm saying. Number two, the angelic realm asked me to be their voice for many reasons, but they said that they need some frosting on the message. Things can get a little intense, so they wanted some personality on the message, some humor, some lighthearted nature called frosting. So I did create a video saying how, what, when, where, why they asked me to be their voice, but they did. They approached me and I agreed many, many moons ago. So when you come forward and you openly insult me, uh, you are essentially clipping my vocal cords. And if I'm the voice of the angelic realm, that means you're clipping the angelic realm's vocal cords, which doesn't really go over well with them. Um, you are negatively affecting my credibility and questioning my sanity, which impedes their ability to do their job in helping people. So the problem is, is what you're doing is you are assuming that I am not legit. And when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So the other side is coming forward and saying that you are assuming that our medium is, is not legitimate. And we are posing the question, what if she is? What if Christine really is our voice? You are assuming she's not legitimate and we're saying that she is legitimate. So the truth stands in the end. The truth just is, it's an absolute. So while opinion swirls around the truth, the truth is a constant. It just is. So the problem is, is that by assuming I'm not legit, you are negatively affecting the angelic realm's ability to do their job and to help others. That's the problem. So when you cut my vocal cords, you cut their vocal cords. And so the angelic realm can't do their job. I created 60 videos to date about helping people um, on various subjects like codependence, self-love, narcissistic personality disorder, how to connect with your deceased loved ones. So I have all these different topics where the angelic realm is trying to reach out to people and educate them about those subjects. So if you cause people to question my credibility, you are uh, affecting the angelic realm's ability to help people. So in the process, unfortunately, what you're doing is you are going up against light. So you have automatically made yourself an energetic match for darkness and negative entities. When you go up against light, is there's light and dark. So when you go up against light, you've automatically made yourself an energetic match for darkness um, by attacking me and my credibility and cutting the vocal cords of the angelic realm. So unfortunately, along the same lines is there are karmic ramifications for that. There are karmic ramifications for going up against light, unfortunately. So what the other side is saying to those people who want to call me insane and, and openly insult me is, are you willing to bet your karma on the fact that you are correct? Are you willing to walk up to that table in Vegas, lay your karma out and say, yes, I'm willing to bet my karma on the fact that Christine, in fact, is insane. Because there are karmic ramifications for attacking the angelic realm and their voice, because they use us as a collective unit. Um, now the thing is, is you have free will. If you're a journalist, you can write whatever you want in the newspaper or the magazine. 
just anyone walking down the street, you have freedom of speech. You can write whatever you want on social media. You have free will to do whatever it is you want to do. But the other side felt it was their responsibility to have me create this video, letting you know that there are consequences to your free will decision. And so they are coming forward and asking you to think twice before you post that, before you write that you think I'm insane. Um, because again, there will be uh, karmic ramifications for directly attacking the angelic realm because I really am legit and I really am their voice. Okie doke. So there you have it. In the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.